Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Jaime Jaquez, who is a awesome free reward card from the Dia de los Muertos uh, event. One of the best parts about this event, for sure. Honestly, as much as I'm not a fan of them making SGA only able to be gotten pretty much through packs, the rest of the event isn't bad. I think this Hawkes card is really good. Um, I think there's some other good rewards like a legend badge and a diamond hidden gem and all that type of stuff and a variety of good things that you can get that are pretty rewarding. So I will give 2K some credit. I think they um, did an okay job with parts of this event. I just wish SGA was more attainable. That's my biggest complaint. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, hi man hakas who is only one diamond hidden gem which really is not a awful grind that's like 20 salary cap games or 20 showdown games or a little bit more in some other modes but also from some stuff you might have gotten for packs or whatever really not all that hard of a card to get and he's got 87 three ball 95 driving dunk 86 ball handle 85 pass accuracy 84 block 88 steel and perimeter 86 interior 86 speed 89 agility 894 vert 82 strength 88 stamina so overall a very complete very solid card in my team and badge wise he's got half posterizer Pogo stick, physical finisher, set shot specialist, but then 25 other badges, 29 base badges on the card. Include gold, rise up, dead eye, limitless, slippery, bailout, dimer, unpluckable, post lockdown, glove interceptor, rebound chaser, on ball menace, high flying denier, silver challenger, removable, and bronze paint patroller as well. Um, which means he pretty much has nearly every single badge that is important in the game. And honestly, I mean, adding handles for days, brick wall, shifty shooter, lightning launch are probably going to be your main best bets of badges to give him. But I think as a whole, he is a really, really solid card and pretty complete outside of that handles for days badge at the three. Now, I will say uh, jumper. Very, very solid. Movement, not unbelievable. His behind the back's okay. His escape's pretty good, uh, but he doesn't have what I would consider elite level movement at all. Um, I mean, I don't think he's going to be insane when it comes to shot creation, but what he is, is a absolute cash money jumper um, and a very good defender as well with a lot of versatility at the three. A guy who can guard at a very high level, a guy who's going to shoot the ball at a very high level with a very fast release, and that provides real value. Honestly, you know who this card compares pretty well to? He's like a better version of the top Cephalosha Amethyst that came out yesterday. Just can't play shooting guard, but much better release, versatile, very good all around defender, um, and a great athlete and slasher as well. Like pure three and D beast for sure. Really good card, very much a competitive level card at the small forward position in my team. His escape's pretty good, but as a whole, I think the movement could be a little better. But as a whole, I like his release a lot, and I think that provides a lot of value for this card. Um, what does his actual fade look like? Let's see. Fade is, I think it's normal fade, so that's not bad at all, at least going right to the left. Yep, it is normal fade. All right, so not too bad. Overall, I don't really see any significant flaws with the high bay. He looks like a dog. I know the movement could be better, but overall, card looks really good. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what Jaime Hawkes can do. All right, we are hopping into a salary cap game here. This dude's got um, Amethyst AD, Amethyst Ray for Alston, and a Diamond Cliff Robinson, as or Clifford Robinson, I should say, Hidden Gem, as his higher tier cards. And so we've got a little bit of a decent matchup here, although I don't think... Well, James Posey at the three is actually a really good ruby. The thing about this Hawkes card is without handles for days added, he is a little bit meh as like a shooter. Um, I do think he's going to be a very good card. Good defense here. Stay in front and wall up. Good D. We will live. If you're going to, I mean, this is offense that I am entirely fine with. Even if he makes that shot, which those will go in occasionally. As a whole, that's what I like to see um, out of my opponent. First offensive possession is trying to mash me and having no real offense besides that. Stop, pop, good move. And that's a nice escape into a mid-range that he greens. First shot of the game up and in for Jaime Jaquez. And I guess we'll throw him on ball here against Rafer Alston as well. Um, not what I wanted to do there. I don't know where Sharif is going. And he greens the shot. Good shot. And we have ourselves a 2-2 two -two game. The thing about Jaquez is, I mean, 95 driving dunk he's really athletic i guess he was in the dunk contest so that isn't really a surprise right but him being as athletic as he is is honestly kind of a w drive the ball downhill all the way inside and he draws a foul from right for austin will take that um but yeah very athletic great catch and shoot shooter and a great um defensive wing so i think i mean this card he may not have his own shot creation much right but with handles for days added it's a little bit more and he gives you enough on the court to be a threat in pretty much every single area and every single way, which is always nice. Um, that is wide open. If he gets his feet set, he does not. All right. Stay in front. He's, I'm just chasing James Posey around the court right now. Um, and he gets a decent look and misses it. All right, cool. So we're good. Run the floor again. 
tr I, I, I want to hit Hawkes here if I can, but I don't want to force the shot. Um, that's not there. Well, bad pass. Wrong, wrong icon. Okay, we're good. Um, I don't know what he's doing right now, to be honest. Come off the screen. Let's look for that normal fade. Normal fade, mid-range, green. Nope. All right, unable to hit. Unfortunate. And I just reached myself into a... I just reached for no reason and gave up a wide open three. Terrible defense. Thankfully, he misses. But that was very bad. Uh, catch. Okay. You know what? I don't... I was going to say I don't hate that shot. I didn't think he was going to get a tight contest. I thought that was going to be Deadeye. Because Deadeye pops up. I thought that was going to be like a like an open or a lightly. Apparently, that was a tight. I, I don't know how that was a tight. But you know what? We greened a tight three with Hawkes. So, like I said, jumper is absolutely butter. You can green these very contested shots with him for sure. And good interior defense by Sharif Abdurrahim. Run the floor again. Kick corner. Pump fake. Um, go up top. Try to get them. Nope. You know what? We'll take our inside dunk instead. Good pass and good shot. Good dunk from AD. And we have a 9-2 to lead. Hawkes with seven points and an assist. Looking super nice already. That's a blow by and not a chase down, unfortunate. All right. We live. Not the best possession there, but it is what it is. Downhill drive again. Kick corner again. If I can drive to the rim and get inside, I'm going to. And we get to the rim and dunk at that time. Beautiful stuff, Jaime. Got the athletic ability where if he beats the defender off the dribble, it's going to be a dunk more often than not. That is kind of open, but that is a good shooter. Okay, show me the defense. This is what I want to see. He's matched up against a big. Uh, Cliff Rock, Clifford Robinson's, what, 6'11", 6 6'10", 6 something like that. This is not the easiest matchup in the world, but good defense. Look, he can guard on the interior. Gets a tight contest. He comes with bronze paint patroller, silver, remo silver removable enforcer as a base card, which is really nice that he's got that added already. Um, drag back. I low-key could have shot that. Maybe I should have. But we're going to slip the screen here because he's got the athletic ability to catch and dunk. Yes, sir. Beautiful stuff. And a relatively dominating performance from Jaime Hawkins. That was pretty impressive. I know not the best squad ever in our opponent for our opponent, but overall, I really like what I saw out of the card there. Honestly, I don't think I really need to see much else because we saw the jumper. We saw the slashing. We saw the interior defense. We saw the perimeter defense a little bit. Not a ton on that aspect, but we know it's good as well. This card has no real flaws. I apologize for the shorter gameplay, but I got a bunch more videos to do because I'm leaving town. I'm recording this Saturday. I'll see it Sunday. I got to record all of Sunday's videos on Saturday. Uh, so I got a bunch more to do. So we're going to call the gameplay there, but very good 3 and D card with real athletic ability and absolutely elite release, solid fade, good enough size. This is an amazing free card reward, and for a lot of people out there, this is probably the reward to be targeting from this Day of the Dead event. So hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.